Aotearfist to State is brought to you by ACU, the Aotearoa Credit Union. Kia ora and welcome to Waitea's Fifth Estate, brought to you by the Aotearoa Credit Union. This is a multi-platform current affairs program streaming live on waiteanews.com, thedailyblog.co.nz and broadcasting live on Face TV, Sky Channel 83. Viewers, you can ask our questions or our guest questions or take our poll. Just go to Waitea News and the Daily Blog. Well, it's timely we talk sp uh, smoking because tomorrow is World Smoke Free Day. Following on from Budget 2016, tobacco is to be taxed as an incentive to reduce smoking and prevent its uptake, especially amongst rangatai, it's young people. So are Aotearoa's New Zealanders uh, a nation of quitters, or have the smoking masses turned a blind eye and deaf ear to the issue? Or is there something we're just not doing right to win smokers over? Here to discuss the tobacco, the tobacco tax in studio, Associate Professor of Public Health uh, Massey University, Dr. Mariwa Glover, Kia ora Mariwa, Manager of Māori Tobacco Control uh, Service at Hapai Te Hauora, Zoe Hawker, Hawke I should say, Kia ora Zoe, and from the Taxpayers Union, Jordan Williams, Kia ora Jordan, on phone, Labour Spokesperson on Health, the Honourable Annette King, and joining, uh, kia ora, kia ora, and joining us later in the programme for, uh, to have a bit of a kōrero, former Māori uh, Party co-leader, Tariana Tūria, uh, Tūria. We'll go to you first, Annette. Um, you may as well get into bed with the Tories because you wholeheartedly support tax on tobacco, Annie. In fact, it was and something... I'm to get into bed with the Māori Party as well. Because... That's right. And it was because something, can I just finish, it was something you and previous leader Helen Clark looked at back in her day as Health Minister. So um, what's the story? What, what are you jumping in bed with the Tories for? It's not a matter of jumping into bed with the Tories. It's a matter of getting into bed with those who are committed to reducing the consumption and the prevalence of tobacco. Um, and that, can, that includes most parties in Parliament. Um, and, and the uh, excise duty increase is but one measure. And you're right, uh, Helen Clark started the first um, policy and legislation to reduce smoking in New Zealand when she banned smoking in workplaces. And that was in about 1980. And over the years, Willie, uh, the, the screws have been tightened and the, the prevalence of tobacco smoking and consumption of it in New Zealand has dropped hugely. And in fact, I see that um, Otago University in their modelling have said with this latest increase for, um, from 2017 to 2020 inclusive, we will see the rates of Māori smoking drop to 21.4% and for non-Māori to 8.9%. Now that's come off a high of, of well over 50% for Māori and up in the, up in the high 30s for, for Pākehā. OK, well, we've got Dr Mariwa Glover here, Professor Glover here, I should say, and she reckons you, you, you know, you've been all over the news in the last couple of days, Mariwa, you're saying that the policy is racist, discriminates against Māori, uh, and uh, also against mental ha health patients and others, I suppose, uh, working class park, I suppose. You're, you're furious with this um, tax, aren't you? I am, I, I am. And I supported the tobacco tax earlier on as well. So, and you know, we've been doing the taxes for, we've had nine years now of, of increases in taxes and I supported it like Tariana did. I was convinced uh, by my colleagues that this was the most effective strategy we had to reduce Māori smoking, everybody's smoking. <coughs> and Well, it succeeded if I, if I take Annette King's stats as, as gospel. No, yeah. you disagree? No, it, does, it hasn't. Well, it depends on whose stats you're looking at. So the Otago University modelling, and they do say on there that that's based on some assumptions. One of those assumptions is that the tax will continue to be as effective as it was in the past. Yeah. Well, it, it hasn't been effective for Māori in the last nine years using the Ministry of Health's own health survey, using their own statistics. Right. No significant, statistically significant drop in Māori or Pacific prevalence since 2006. And I have to go, hang on a minute. Marama I'm... Fox disagrees with you. I interviewed her today. She says, she says, respectfully, you're wrong. 
Oh, politics. What, 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 <laughs> what do you think, Zoe? Do you agree uh, with Marie? Well, is, is it a racist policy? If respectfully, because I do <laughs> respect Marie, um, and she's done some amazing work. But I have to agree with Madame Fox here. Yeah. I think that the stats are going down. Yep. Yeah. And and it, again, the census. I'm talking from the census statistics too, and it has shown a drop. Okay. And I and on top of that, I believe that tax increases and other strategies is what's going to get Māori to right, 2025. Right. It's not just tax on its own. Other things need to happen too. What do you say, Jordan? We were talking about this um, issue um, earlier in the year in a, in a paper we did, and I take a very similar view that I had um, always thought that the reason for the tobacco increases were to cover the health costs, etc., etc. Yes. Well, in actual fact, if you look at the key stat, how many smokers do we have as a proportion of the population? Well, since 2010, we have doubled the amount of excise tax, but the rate of smoking has only decreased by 16, from 16.3% down to 15%, having doubled the excise tax on these products. And what it's done counterintuitively is it's actually um, had the least impact on the very poorest members of our community. Well, this is sort of what Marty was saying, yeah. isn't she? Mm. You know, and you, so you've always had these doubts. Well, we look, we look at it. If, I think. All of us, including Annette, we all want to see a drop in that right, smoking right, rate. Right, right. And so at the Taxpayers Union, what our perspective is, and we've had a look overseas, is the best tool to get people off smoking is actually to legalise e-cigarettes. Right. But the, re the only reason why the government wouldn't be doing that is because, for example, last week, the only the increases in tobacco excise are going to bring in $400 million to the government. And that's off the back of the poorest members of our community. What is in fact happening is the politicians are too addicted to the money, yes, yes. to the to the, to the revenue, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rather than actually stepping back and saying, how do we reduce the smoking rate? So I'm. Well, come to you in a sec, Annie. Yeah. So I'm, you know, mindful of the fact that according to studies by the British government, e-cigarettes are 95 percent less harmful. Yeah. I ask. Um, um, ask Annette King, you know, yes. why aren't you supporting this okay. for the first time we've got a technology right. that we can move people on to something that's far less harmful? You're, you're, you're listening to that, Annette. You're addicted. You've got problems. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and and waving the heavy stick is not working, Annette. Well, I, what, I'm, what I think is that uh, excise duty is but one tool. And I said that when I spoke in the, in the debate on this issue. You see, I think there are lots more things that we could be doing. And one of them is the, the revenue that is gathered from this, every penny should be spent on public health measures, not going into the consolidated fund to give tax cuts uh, for next year's budget or the year beyond that. They should, it should be going into um, help to, to people to stop smoking. That's right. Um, yeah, E-cigarettes. Um, so you don't um, agree with that? Well, you don't, you, yeah, but, but Jordan, you don't this even... This is crocodile tears. Crocodile yeah, tears? You know, Annie, hang yes on, hang on, no. hang on, Jordan. You finish, Annie. What's the crocodile tears? Well, yes or no, will you support the introduction of e-cigarettes? I don't have a problem with e-cigarettes. So you would support tears? a bill to, to allow to the sale? I didn't get to finish what they were. You finish, finish, Annie, finish. Yeah, I said you should, the money should be used for uh, public health measures, but there are a range of things we ought to also be doing. E-cigarettes, there should also be stopping smoking in cars where there are children, plain packaging, the measures um, that you could use to help reduce consumption of tobacco go on. So, so um, I haven't said I have a problem with e-cigarettes. Okay, we're, listen, we're hearing, uh, hearing, you see, one of the ironic uh, parts of all this, uh, Mariwa, is, you know, there's, they say there's all this concern, we've got the Māori Party there. Then I went and closed down all the Māori smoking. You talk about this today, is That's that correct? Right. Just elaborate for us. So all, some of the Māori um, uh, groups who are do, were doing good work in terms of uh, smoking closed mm. down. So it's not just that the tobacco taxes have not reduced smoking, and the statistics we're using are two different things. Right. So he referred to the census. The census reports daily smoking. The health survey data the ministry uses is, is everyone who's a regular smoker, including those that are not smoking daily. So, and a lot of our poorer people can't afford to smoke daily. So they're not picked up by the census, which is a less, a less robust measure anyway. It's not just the tobacco tax that hasn't reduced Māori and Pacific smoking. It was the whole package. The whole package, including the smoking cessation services. Yeah. They've all just been scrapped. 
and the ministries had to go out and re-tender for new smoking cessation services because the previous ones did not deliver value for money. They didn't work. We didn't get enough people quitting. And and we're going to presumably get a whole new service. So that's the ironic part of this, isn't it, Zoe? Is, uh, is, is that we say, oh, this is good. We, we, you know, the states are coming back. You're saying they're coming back. But then they're closing down our programs. Um, so I, I agree. I, I get um, Muddy was concerned about um, the poorest people being taxed yeah. with this tobacco issue. However, um, I also support looking at e-cigarettes because we are going to have new services and Māori stats weren't coming down through smoking cessation services. However, with new tools around that will support those that are going to quit because there are tax increases, um, we need them to be using innovative tools and e-cigs could potentially be that. There's emerging evidence. I think the ministry itself are looking at it and they're willing to change as the evidence emerges. So, Annette, I put to you, no amount of legislation is going to get hardcore smokers to give up. In fact, the numbers weren't any good under your government uh, either, were they, in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of the stats? Is that, would you agree with that, Annette? I don't agree with that. Goodness me. Um, can you remember when 50% of Māori, over 50% of Māori were smoking? and, and uh, Māori woman, your... wasn't it? Yeah. And, and, and European smoking was 30%, and now in 2016, the, the levels are uh, half that. So, so what, to say that nothing works is wrong. You've got to use the best evidence you can and the best tools that you can. You see, I've got a different take on this. Why should we allow tobacco companies to kill the poor? Well, exactly. Okay, okay. That's, that's a bit about paint. Okay, well, you've got them going I mean, that's here. Just, that's just yeah. retro. I mean, come on. We know that if you continue to put up smoking excise taxes, we're going to end up with the same problem Australia has, with where 13% of their market is illicit or counterfeit tobacco, where there is no excise yeah. um, whatsoever or, or any of the, um, the controls. I mean, that... The tobacco industry loves that okay, argument. So? Loves that argument. Well, and the thing about yeah. plain packaging... Well, I'm not industry. <laughs> One at a time, because they've got plain... Plain pack, they've just agreed to but, it, right? They've yeah, just come through today. And the great thing about plain packaging they've just come through is today. it targets the industry, not the individual. What do you say... What do you say to that, Mario? Well, Australia has very, very high disparity in their smoking prevalence rates, very high rates among Indigenous communities. They have mm. neglected communities that are remote, with 80% of people still smoking. It's an illusion over there that they have a, a low smoking prevalence rate, uh, only at the national level. And it's the same thing that's happening here in New Zealand. So we've got it down to 15%, but it's... You know, we have huge disparities. Sounds also, like everything's an illusion because I keep hearing yeah. um, Annie King's stats and well, she's that, saying. That's every a long time ago. Labour was a long time ago. Okay. Things have changed. That is the point. It, any public health measure is, has to be taken over years, not over um, a, a week or two, which is why I worry about pro starting programs, dumping programs, halving programs, cutting public health funding. You've got to be prepared to be in for the long haul. Mm -hmm. and that's when you got the first measures in 1989 and we're now 2016 and over that long period there's been this, this slow but steady reduction in improvement and, and I mean, that's a fact. Okay, well we're joined now by former um, Māori Party co-leader Tariana Tūria who had a lot to do with this uh, kaupapa. Kia ora uh, Tari, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, Dr Māori Glover, who's in the studio with me tonight is saying that the policy that is being rolled out in terms of uh, um, uh, in terms of the smoking tax is is actually racist uh, and is targeting Maori and the wrong people in the community. What's your response to Doctor uh, to Professor Glover's uh, Fakaro Tari? My view, Willie, is that we must do whatever it takes to get the rid of the scourge. 5,000 people dying a year, the majority of whom are Māori. I won't apologise to anybody who have been in this field. And we knew that it was going to be difficult, but the fact is that in terms of the uptake, it has made a difference. And so we, sh we should stick uh, with what we know uh, to be right for our people. I know it's not popular, but because it's such an addictive substance, 
You would, you you wouldn't agree. You wouldn't agree with that, Tatiana. But aren't you being patronising to your people? Aren't you uh, saying, well, you know, Tatiana and uh, us Komatu as us oldie, oldies, we know what's best for you. It's a and it's a punitive approach, Tati, which is not something you would normally adopt. No, and I don't see it as a punitive approach, Willie. Really. I have always followed this line. Uh, if it's because I want our people to live. I would have loved for my cousins to be alive today to see their great-grandchildren, their grandchildren, and their not. Most of them died before they were 50. I'm not going to apologise to Māori or to anybody for that matter for taking this hard line on smoking because it has been detrimental to the overall health and well-being, not only in terms of their ongoing health, but certainly in terms of using what very limited income that they have to continue to smoke. So Mario says you've lost your compassion. Oh, no. No, you didn't say that. No, <laughs> Maybe well, I, you, know, you know, to be honest with you, I'm quite sure a lot of people think that I do lack compassion on this yes. issue. And I don't because I feel very out of the people who smoke. I'll be straight up with you, Willie, really, I do. When yes. I see people smoking... I feel damn sad. But is that going to stop me from advocating against it? No, it won't. My own mother smoked. She was shocking. My cousins all smoked and used to threaten me when I went on about it at the Marae that I'd end up having to work at the Marae for myself. So, <laughs> you know, I've, I've, I've had all of that. And, and it hasn't made me love them any less. Okay, thanks, Tati. Well, well, Zoe Hawke here, Zoe. Tati, brought up a good point too. This isn't, tax increases aren't just for those that are currently smoking. It's to reduce uptake. Because if the price right. is unreachable for our young people, then they probably won't start a lifetime of trying to quit right. because they're hooked. You, no, you, 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 I'll, I'll, come, I'll come to you in a minute, Jordan. Uh, so you don't th you think uh, you wouldn't call her not compassionate, right? I'm going no, a bit, no, bit no. farther. Oh, maybe maybe Tuddy's out of touch. No, you know, it's an old coma to a queers. They know what's best for us. What, what do you say to that? Uh? Tariana, I, 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 I've never thought that I know better than better, <laughs> uh, what's for our people, Willie. Yes. Wano Ora is about putting the power back into the hands of our people, and I believe in it. What do you say to that, Marty? The environment has changed. The taxes did work. What Tariana did, you know, many years ago, that did work. It did bring smoking prevalence down. It did stall uptake. But the environment has changed, and the effectiveness of those policies mm. isn't working anymore now. Right. We've got, we've so time got, for a review, that's what you're saying. Yeah, time. because smoking is now concentrated more and more and more among the disadvantaged mm. and the poor and people with comorbid conditions. Right. All we've done with the uptake is delay uptake. Right. So, yes, right. the uptake at age 14 is not what it was, and that's fantastic. Yeah. But... When you look at the adult smoking rates, hello, 42% of Māori women are still smoking. To, uh, what's the financial cost, uh, Jordan? Jordan Williams here too, Tuddy. What's the financial cost of Māori and Pacifica whānau who lose members per year to smoking and smoking-related illnesses? Yeah, well, well, at the moment, yeah. it's more than th um, the tax is more than three times the actual social and health, sorry, the health costs right. of smoking. But, I mean, these tax increases alone announced last week the average smoker mean $1,200 more a year in tax. And for low-income New Zealanders, that is a, a huge amount of money. And w w with, res with respect, it is an I know better approach. It I mean, is. You, think it's, pa you think it's patronising? Of course it is. Everyone knows smoking is bad. Right. And, uh, but let I them make a choice. When, is that what you're when saying? When I lived in, in Europe, I smoked. Yeah. I knew it was bad. Of course right. you do. Right, right. And it, it, it's by definition. You don't and, mind, and, you and don't mind Maldives arrogance. killing themselves. That's what you're saying, George. Well, well, if they want to kill themselves, kill well, themselves. I mean, right? the, the, the intellectual dishonesty yeah. from, um, for, from, um, uh, from many of the politicians here is to say, on the one hand, policies which disproportionately affect Maori in a bad way yeah. are racist. Yeah. Yet here... It's exactly the same in that it affects low-income Māori particularly more. Well, that is using the, using the Māori Party's own definition. That is, that is, and I'm, and and. and I'll come to you in a second, Katsari. No, I, I come back to what Winston Peters said that kids will go without food 
because of these tax increases. And we think when there are better tools right. to get people That's off right. smoking, which we all want, then it is wrong for politicians to see the dollar see, signs. See, I don't like. No I've got to tell you, up. Tuddy, I don't like, like normally agreeing with Jordan, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, he's making. St but he's making some sense here, uh, Tuddy. He's I making. Mean, we want the same thing. Okay. All right. Where I'm you go, Tuddy? People, I am sick of people like Jordan going on about the poverty trap that our people are in. The fact is, we are in a poverty trap. Yeah. Our because our land, all our resources, were stolen from us. Yep. Nothing to do with smoking, actually, but everything to do with what happened to us. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, smoking has been another tool of colonisation, and I will continue to fight against it, regardless as to what anybody says. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you, Tuddy. We'll go back to... We're going to come to Annette King here. And, 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 Thank you. Yes. Ariana, and I agree with everything she said. We worked together when we were in government. She's been a leader in this area. She understands it. It's not patronising. And, and, and one of the things that the people keep overlooking is um, we are watching our family and our friends die from, from um, a product that it is unnecessary for us to be supporting. Why would we let that happen? Yeah, well, but, We've got to take right, the measures we can but, to stop but, it. But, but the response to that, of course, Jordan, is, is a bit of hypocrisy because they don't have the same attitude in terms of alcohol, yeah, right? Precisely. Is that right, Jordan? Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. Uh, and and also... Like no, you don't. And, and, and when you look at what's actually happened... You know, this, the difference here is the, between policy is the intention and its effect. Mm. We've all got the same intention. Yes. But when we look at Australia where high, very high excise has actually caused an underground black market. That's right. And these tax increases, but these, they mean a tinny but these two is know, cheaper than a pack of cigarettes. But these two know what's best Does for us. Does really take us forward? That's what we're yeah. hearing here, right? I the, don't care about the black market. The tobacco taxes okay, are not okay, Marty, what? are not reducing Māori smoking prevalence. So yeah, you two won't accept what Māori Glover is saying here, that she's saying that that, that the current policies ha have come to an end. They, 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 they've lost their they've efficacy. lost their lost their effect, Tariana, and you're you're not listening to her. And I've been no, reading no. I've been no, reading not. your speeches, no, no. Tariana, and and one of the things that you spoke about a lot was the trauma that our mums, our young women, are experiencing out there from the bashing in the media, the smoker bashing, the violence that's going on, yes. the poverty. Yeah. And what's happening is that the smoking, the tobacco taxes are incentivising people to quit, yes, and they're trying, yes. But the trauma in their everyday life oh, I hear you. is, is it that's cancels I, it out. That's they right. they yeah, try that's and right. quit. Because in the end... And then the they're end, driven back to smoking see, by all that trauma. I've got to go with her on this, uh, Tuddy, because in the end... No, no, I'm <laughs> going with her because in the end, you know, I think in the end people have hard lives. Yep. They might have boring lives. And if they want to relax with a smoke at the end of the day... What business is it of yours, Tuddy? That's what Marty Glover's saying. No, I, th I want them to stop. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying... I'm not saying that it's my business uh, about the position that they're in. What I am saying is I am interested in saving lives, Willie. And okay. I know that if we are able to stop people from smoking, we'll save 5,000 lives a year. I got that. But yeah, how but that's far... That's not happening. What you're doing isn't working. How right. far... Yeah, that's what you're saying. How far do we go, Annette King? Will an outright ban on smoking do it? I mean, why didn't your government, Annette King... Hang on, hang on. Why didn't your government go all the way when it introduced smoke-free? Smoke-free no, no, and You we didn't because you wanted the tax, right? And it, wouldn't, it wouldn't achieve it just as prohibition didn't work. But what we've, we've most, I think most parties in Parliament have signed up to is smoke-free 2025. Now, smoke-free is getting your, your smoking uh, rates down to about 5%. Okay. What that's get... not, well, it's okay. not going to happen. It's, okay. when, it's not going to happen for Party Māori. Well. So Pākehā might enjoy it, but Māori aren't going to. We're being left behind. The disparity is right. getting wider. Mm. And, and the policies... Well, tell us the answer. What's tell the answer? 
solution. Well, okay, that's a good question. What we're not doing, yep. you give us a solution. Yep. Okay, Marie, what? An, an immediate solution is to lift the ban on the nicotine for vaping oh, and let yes. our people use it. Yes. They want yes. to, they are trying to, but if they oh. don't have internet access, they don't have a credit card, and people are just mean about it and give them a hard time. You think this is nonsense, don't you, Tari? Do you? Tariana. Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Why? Okay, let her, think, let her explain. I do think it's nonsense. Tell I us why. What we've got, what we've got is people who purport to support the no smoking but try to find every way that they can to assist our people to keep on smoking. I'm not prepared to do that. You're an me. enabler, that's what she's saying. And, and if people think... And vaping isn't that, smoking. You know, that I'm so bad about that. Well, I'm sad because I love our people, really. I always I know. have. Well, I know, we all know that. Will. Yeah. We, we, we all know that. I, I think that the people watching, with it, they'll see the split here, Zoe. They'll see the split with someone like Tari, who's tremendously respected. And But Dr. Glover, he, uh, Māori was also respected for a year, and you respect her very much. So here you've got two strong Māori women with completely different views, Zoe, and you're oh, sort no, of... No, I don't think we have different... No, we you have do. different They have the same views. goal. No. They have the same they goal. Have the same they goal. Have I follow Tariana's teachings. ideas about getting there. No, you don't. You've, you've gone off Tariana. No, I don't. Oh, no, I follow her teaching. Clearly. <laughs> that's clearly <laughs> come no. through. No, you can't, you can't no. retract the other Tobacco <laughs> taxes are not working anymore. OK, well, that's... What that's Tariana upset, did tari. before, they were working. I don't. I think we're talking like tax increases are the only strategy that we're following they're not and that's I support tax increases and I also support other innovative ways to stop smoking and just because we've got tax increases doesn't mean that we're not looking at other things to get us to 2025 okay we're gonna have a last say from everyone what do you say in it with your wrap-up well I, I say that I totally support the measures that have been taken. I want to see more tools added to it, including stopping smoking in cars where there are children, the plain packaging, which I'm told was going to be announced tomorrow, yep. um, and, and the excise duty, the assistance to help stop people smoking, and all the money that comes from that excise to be spent on public health measures, including helping those with mental illness and obesity, um, because there is a link between them and smoking. Okay, you got to it. Thanks for that. Tari, what's your last say on this? You must be concerned when you hear experts like Marty Waglava. <laughs> she Tari? I think she got cut off. I think she got cut off. We uh, we, we probably had enough of Tuddy anyway, didn't oh, we? No. <laughs> Jordan, what do you say? Well, What's your last say? You've got 20 seconds. You've got to be very suspicious of politicians saying we want to help people, yeah. but only increasing taxes, and they're seeing the extra money. Two is plain packaging in Australia actually hasn't had no. the impact people have expected it to have. The way to do it is to legalise these cigarettes. In Britain, it's the number one tool people are using to quit. Zoe, quickly, 10 seconds. I'm with Tariana. I think we just throw everything we've got um, to this goal of smoke-free 2025. Tax increases, plain packaging, looking at the emerging evidence of e-cigarettes. So we can do a whole lot of things. So you're impunitive. No, just keep the Māoris in shape, you know. <laughs> That's the, being the Labour Party sort of line, National Party line. Just keep them in line. Be patronising. That's what Jordan Williams is saying. No, sadly, I I'm, a, sadly I'm having them. to agree with Jordan Williams because there is a bit of a... Yeah, yeah, we all care about smoking. them, but maybe we should stop them drinking. Drinking, eating, KFC, maybe we should just stop everything, Mariwa. <laughs> Kia ora. Uh, I think that we, we should support things that work, yes. where the evidence says it works, and if something is actually doing harm, stop doing that. Because all we're doing now is driving Māori to smoke by increasing the cumulative stress in their lives with this tax. And, yes. and what's really, really harsh is prohibiting them from using so he doesn't agree. from using the e-cigarettes. It's time for a rethink. That's what Dr. Glover's saying today. She's got people thinking. Look at the evidence yeah, yeah. of what your, works. Your idol has turned, turned on you, uh, um, <laughs> Tariana Tudia. But I want to thank you very much. Thank you all for coming on. Sure. And to you, Annette, thank you. Lovely to have you tonight. And Tari, Tariana, we love you, Tari. Uh, and we'll have you back again, uh, obviously, uh, any time. Uh, well, well, soon, hopefully. So thanks very much, everyone. Uh, and thanks to all of you who uh, who've been watching tonight. Tēnā te mihi kia koutou, a tēnā koutou katoa. Wātea Fifth Estate is brought to you by ACU, the Aotearoa Credit Union.